Coming up on today's episode of AMA Drone Report. AMA Expo East is just around the corner. Altitude Angel selected to provide enhanced airspace data to DJI. And Sun and Fun Drone Show. Welcome to Airborne's AMA Drone Report on Aero TV, a weekly news program covering the recreational drone world in partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics, one of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world, with more than 200,000 members and 2,400 clubs across the country. I'm Skylar Vanell. The much-anticipated AMA Expo East is right around the corner. This will be the second year AMA has run this special event. The three-day expo provides a world-class display of the latest and greatest products for the modeling enthusiast. There will be fun activities for the whole family, including flying demonstrations, model rocket, and plane build and fly stations. Stop by one of the interactive displays, static model competitions, or check out the times to listen to a guest speaker. With 100-plus exhibitors and expert modelers on hand, the expo is sure to entertain the novice and even the most experienced modeler. It all takes place at Secaucus, New Jersey's Meadowlands Exposition Center, February 22nd through the 24th. Go to amaexpoeast.com for times and event information. In the next Drone Minute, we'll take a look at a few of the stories that are making their rounds around the small UAS and hobby drone community. Oklahoma State Senator Casey Murdoch proposed a bill that is currently under consideration that would prevent drone flights over privately held agricultural land if you do not have the written consent from the property owner. The bill would make exceptions for drones that are operated by the state or federal governments, law enforcement, oil and gas companies, or are associated with commercial operation authorized by the FAA. Murdoch said the reason for the bill is based on the growing concern over property rights and privacy. The Corona California Police Department has announced the deployment of its UAS team, which went into service on February 7th. The team will help enhance the safety and service the department provides the community. The action of the team represents the culmination of over 56 hours of specialized pilot training and the development of a thorough department policy, a policy which reflects their commitment to respecting the privacy of the public and safe operations. The National Model Aviation Museum in Muncie, Indiana, is hosting the Black Wings American Dream of Flight, which is a Smithsonian travel exhibition. The exhibit is based on the book Black Wings, Courageous Stories of African Americans in Aviation and Space History, where early aviation pioneers were challenged by obstacles and overcame them by creating their own legacy in the world of flight. Black Wings opened at the National Model Aviation Museum on February 1st, and it will be on display through March 31st in honor of Black History Month. Well, that wraps up your Drone Minute. Altitude Angel has partnered with DJI to improve safety and open up the skies to customers. Replacing AirMap for Altitude Angel's Guardian UTM platform enables any drone manufacturer or software developer to get access to accurate drone safety data. DJI reports it has been able to extend the functionality of its geofencing solution to accurately reflect the highest safety risk around particular facilities. Airport runways and approach paths will be represented by more precise bow tie shapes. Sensitive facilities such as prisons and nuclear power stations will use a polygon shape. By more accurately mapping the highest risk zones, DJI can improve safety while opening up more of the airspace to drone pilots. DJI drones can benefit from real-time data from temporary flight restrictions, which greatly enhances the operational data available to drone pilots. This data comes from the same aviation systems used by pilots around the world, enhanced for drone pilots by Altitude Angel. Airshow fans at the annual Sun and Fun International Fly-In and Expo in Lakeland, Florida can look forward to something special. 
the first public drone light show performance at a Florida air show. The Great Lakes Drone Company will fly over 60 specialized aerial robots at the evening air shows. A drone light show has been on the top of the list for fans, and this year the event is proud to bring the cutting-edge performance to the audience. Sun and Fun organizers are confident the aerial light display will be this year's most memorable event. The Sun and Fun Star Dance Spectacular will take place during the night air show and will begin at 7.30 p.m. on Wednesday, April 3rd, and again on Saturday, April 6th. And that's our program for this week. Airborne's AMA Drone Report is presented weekly in cooperation with the Academy of Model Aeronautics. If you're watching us on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe. For real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories, go to aero-news.net. And for more on the exciting hobby drone world at modelaircraft.org. I'll see you back here next week.